Repent of your sins while you have the chance. Think about it. It only takes about 5 to 10 seconds to repent of your sins. All you have to say is, God, please forgive me of all my sins. From there, what you have to do is maintain your salvation by following the rules and regulations of the Bible. That's it. Why would you not do something that easy, but you rather go to hell and, and be burned and tormented for an eternity? Is it worth it? I don't think it is. Think about this. You are being burned and you are being tormented other than being burned. There are different types of torment down in hell. So you are being burned and tormented for an eternity, never ending. Like how things are on earth when you experience a certain amount of pain, you may pass out. In hell, there is no passing out. You are conscious and you can't die a second time. So while you are in hell, being burnt alive, fire all over your face, all over your body, and there's insects and worms and snakes and stuff like that everywhere biting you and stinging you and stuff like that <laughs> and you can't die so what that tells me <laughs> what that tells me hey I am going to repent even when I believe I did nothing wrong even with that, I am going to repent three to four times a day or more to make sure that I have just be on the safe side. I am going to repent three to four times a day anyways. When it comes down to being burned alive, being tormented with insects and snakes and scorpions and all of these torture devices and stuff like that no <laughs> so what I am trying to say repent let's say that you are this perfect person and there is no way that you can do anything wrong let's say that you are this extra human <laughs> where you can't do anything wrong even if that is the case repent anyways to make sure to be cautious there is nothing wrong with being cautious so repent of your sins even when you believe that you did nothing wrong I know for myself I repent about three to five times a day maybe more than that because think about this when you die that's it there is no more repenting so why not repent do something that only takes about 10 seconds to do God please forgive me of all my sins maybe five seconds then from there read your Bible and follow the rules and regulations that's it I am not saying that it is easy but what is your other choice dying in your sins then going to hell no so repent multiple times whether you are sinning or if you believe that you did nothing wrong even with me even things that I may think that was not wrong, I'll repent anyways. Let's say that I think I did something wrong. Let's say that I don't know what is a good example. <laughs> 
let's say that I punch myself right in the face or something. And let's say that, hey, you know, <laughs> that was the wrong thing to do. I will repent of something like that. I'm serious. You have to be extra, extra, extra cautious. If it comes to your mind to repent of your sins, even if it sounds like a very dumb thing to do, or even if you believe that what you did was not wrong, even when you think what you did was not wrong, repent anyways. Because what is the harm in repenting? Something that takes you seconds less than 10 seconds to do think about it i rather repent many times than to die right now and be tormented by demons and all of these crazy stuff no i don't know about you but i don't like pain <laughs> I hate pain. Let's say this. How would it feel for someone to peel off your skin? Like take like something really sharp and just cut your skin off. Those are the types of torments that are in hell. Can you take a person just cutting your face? and cutting all over your forehead and your face and your hands and your arms and your legs and stuff like that. Are you able to take that? Then it is happening over and over and over again. And you are in a place where it is very hot and it stinks. so much stuff going on in hell you say that you don't mind going to hell but when you get like a, a ache in your arm or a headache or if you get sick you feel so bad but you say that you are ready to go to hell <laughs> but you are not able to take the little things that happen in this world so how can you say that you are ready to go to hell when you don't like pain at all? Do you believe that when you go to hell that you are going to be talking to your friends and your family and stuff like that? Like you are going to have a party and you are going to be chilling with Satan and demons and stuff like that? Do you believe that? <laughs> you do not want to go to hell. Even demons don't want to go to hell. Because if hell was this great place, why are there many demons on earth now? If hell was this awesome place, why aren't all, all the demons in hell now? If hell is this amazing place to go. Because hell is not the place to be. I'm telling you, man. So really think about that. Repent multiple times a day, even when you believe that, hey, what I did was not wrong. I was in the right in doing or saying what I said or doing what I did or thinking the way I thought or being where I was at. I was in the right, I did nothing wrong, whatever. Repent anyways. Because, like I said before, when you go to hell, that's it. <laughs> that's it. And all you had to do is say, God, please forgive me of all my sins. <laughs> That's all you had to do and to maintain your salvation. So something as simple as that, as just talking, you went to hell over. 
It's not worth it. So, like I said before, for myself, I cannot have sinned all day long, but I am still going to repent about three times. Anyways, just to be sure. So really take heed to this and tell your friends and family about this too because they may believe that everything they are doing is right. They are not in the wrong and stuff like that. Anyways, repent anyways. Even if you feel ashamed or you believe that you are too good to repent of your sins or whatever, so what? Repent anyways. Okay, God bless.